Hello! I know it's been a long while since my last Windeck OS update, but here we are with what will probably be the last version of the OS. This is because, thanks to the way Steam and Windows works, I don't really need to update it as new features are automatically added, such as game recording, which has appeared thanks to a Steam update. Regardless, this last version includes Steam Deck OLED support and a couple of nice fixes and quality of life features for new users. If you want to install Windeck OS for yourself, a guide is linked in the description. Now then, here's what's new. First and foremost, Steam Deck OLED is now fully supported. At the time of recording this, I'm unsure if I'll need to make two different versions of the OS, one for OLED and one for LCD, but by the time you're seeing this, I will already know, and the top of the description will tell you if you need to choose a Windeck OS install depending on your hardware. The Steam Deck LCD drivers have been updated and are included in this version. Windeck OS does not automatically update these drivers, as they rarely update as is, so if a new APU driver releases in the future, please install it manually as needed. Steam and Windows are of course updated to their latest version, so there's less installs to go through during first time setup. Be warned though that because of this, the installation size of Windeck OS has gone up significantly, so if you're still using a 64GB Steam Deck, then I recommend you download Windeck OS 1.2 instead. If your Steam Deck has 256GB of storage or more, then I do definitely recommend this latest version. I changed the taskbar behavior to automatically hide as I felt like that makes more sense from a gaming first perspective. You can of course change this yourself in Windows settings if you want. Docked audio now fixes itself automatically when you dock the system, so you no longer need to manually click the shortcut from previous versions. I further debloated Windows as well by deleting some of the new bloat introduced in later Windows updates such as Windows Copilot. And the OS drive can now be renamed, as before it was some random assortment of letters, now it just says Windeck OS and has a cute little custom icon to go with it. The full list of patch notes are available via the GitHub releases page, as there are some other tweaks I feel like don't need to be mentioned in a video format. If you're already on Windeck OS, there's no need to update. Any changes listed here can be done manually, so you don't need to reformat your drive or anything like that. And that's it! If you have a Steam Deck OLED or LCD and want to run some Windows-only games without sacrificing ease of use, then feel free to download Windeck OS using the install guide in the description. Thanks for watching, and especially thank all of you who have supported the project this long. Hopefully I'll see some of you in the future from some other project or something I work on, or maybe I'll be the one checking out one of your projects. Regardless, get ready to install the OS as Windeck OS Update 2.0 releases Today, it's out right now. Have fun and enjoy.